Hi there, new church folks. Happy St. Patrick's Day. I thought I'd wear green just to greet you. So, as we're going through this time, it seemed appropriate that maybe we should take time in prayer. And I found this version of the Lord's Prayer that I thought I'd share with you today. Let's pray. Great Spirit, creator of all, from the stars to all the earth, loved and respected by your name, may it happen that all should live your way, following the purpose for all creation. Enable us to find what we need for today's journey. Forgive us when we go wrong, as we forgive those who wrong us. Have compassion on us when we're being tested. Do not abandon us to fear and evil. Our hope is in your new community. You are the one who can transform all creation, making everything new, now and for all eternity. Amen. So friends, I invited folks to send me some videos of greetings and I'd share them on this YouTube video. So, so far I've only ever heard from Linda and Gracie, so I'll share their video with you now. Here's their message. Okay, now. Hi everybody, we miss you. Thanks, Linda and Gracie. It was great to hear from you. Well, being St. Patrick's Day, I thought maybe we'd take a moment to think about who St. Patrick was. He was a patron saint of Ireland, and we know that he was born to a Christian family in Brit Roman Britain in the late 4th century. When he was 16, he was captured by Irish pirates and taken to their homeland in Ireland into, and put into slavery. And six years later, he escaped and he went back to England and then he traveled on to France to go to school and eventually he became a priest in the Catholic Church. Acting on a vision, Patrick thought he'd sort of heard from God that he should go back to Ireland and Christianize them. So he returned there as a missionary without the blessings of the church. And he adopted the name Patrick, which derives from the Latin for father figure, which kind of fits because he's known for traveling around the countryside, baptizing thousands of people. And he's known for having built churches and convents and monasteries, providing Christian instru instruction, but also bringing higher education to the Irish people. We celebrate March 17th because it's the anniversary of his death. By the end of the seventh century, St. Patrick was known as the Apostle of Ireland, becoming the primary patron saint, although he was actually never canonized. Legends around St. Patrick still hold today, and it includes a story where he drove all the snakes of Ireland out into the sea because he was a little ticked they'd been attacking him during a 40-day fast. Legend also credits Patrick with teaching the Irish about the doctrine of the Trinity by using the shamrock, or the three-leaf clover. And it's kind of fitting. It's, you know, the three leaves and the three persons of the Trinity, and then the one stem being God. So by the late 17th century, Irish people were celebrating St. Patrick's Day by wearing shamrocks. So as we finish our time together, let's say a prayer for the faithful by St. Patrick. May the strength of God guide us. May the power of God preserve us. May the wisdom of God instruct us. May the hand of God protect us. May the way of God direct us. May the shield of God defend us. May the angels of God guard us against the snare of the evil one. May Christ be with us. May Christ be before us. May Christ be in us. Christ be over all. May thy grace, Lord, always be ours. This day, O Lord, and forevermore. Amen. So, friends, I hope you're all staying safe and you're as healthy as can be. And I hope that each of you are trying to reach out to each other. And, you know, we'll get through this and we'll be a stronger community at the end, I hope. Anyway, take care. And I found this picture on Facebook and I thought you might enjoy it. Kind of says it all, doesn't it? Anyway, blessings till we talk again and hang in there. Bye for now.